Brownian motion. This gave evidence for the continual motion of particles in liquids and gases and helped lead to the kinetic theory of matter. It was discovered by Robert Brown in 1827, hence the name, and he was observing pollen grains floating in water. He noticed that the pollen grains were continually jiggling around. We can get the same effect looking at a cell containing smoke and air. If we light the cell from the side and look from above with a microscope, we see something like this. The black dots represent the smoke particles, which can be seen to be jiggling around like this. If we trace the path of an individual smoke particle for a short time, we'd see something like this. You see there are straight lines followed by angular changes in direction. The motion is caused by collisions with the much smaller but faster air molecules. So a smoke particle will move in its current direction until it's hit by a smaller faster air particle where it will change direction until it has another collision and so on.